So Saturn, Venus, Jupiter. Let's go look at our guinea pig, Albert Einstein, as an example. We can see his Saturn's up here in the right eye and down here in the gate of fucking <laughs> sexual relations. Who knows? Let's see. Going down. Venus. We'll start with in a defined heart center. We know that the 51 is about the gall. The gall. Ability to respond to disorder and shock through recognition and adaption. But here we have the second line of withdrawal. So the egoism to reject withdrawal and face possible defeat is part of how his Venus, his values and relating, would appreciate relationships, you know, appreciate the value of being in relationships, has the egoism to reject withdrawal and face possible defeat, to be able to handle that shock, responding to the shock as part of his initiation here. And then where we go from Venus is into Jupiter, and Jupiter brings us the line of burnout. So uncontrollable feelings and accompanying emotional outbursts here in the gate 30, gate of feelings. Freedom recognized as an illusion and limitation accepted as a fate. This brings an unrealistic pace that begs misfortune, which is what he is learning about. So uncontrollable feelings accompanying emotional outbursts would be the expression of that Jupiter. And this in the emotional system being part of where he has his Saturn further up that stream of feeling. And Saturn, when we get there, looks like here, conscious Saturn is gate 17, the gate of opinion. The ancient law that those who wish to rule must know how to serve. So the first line is openness, and this brings the possibility of having many opinions or the flip side of limiting opinions only to what is pleasing. So in context with the design, Saturn as a painful punishment, I would ask maybe, do you ever find yourself not wanting to look forward or look at the pattern? Do you ever find yourself not wanting to, or when you share your opinions, you get really frustrated. Do you have any problems with your right eye? Mm. Do you feel this insane amount of pressure to be on time? <laughs> okay, because that's logical. Logic always wants to be on time. This is the, an inability, if it's in suffering mode, pain mode, to actually look at where things are headed, you know, and, and literally having problems with one's right eye if Saturn is there. So just checking into and seeing if he is honoring his integrity of being, because Saturn is the signpost for not honoring the integrity of your being. Saturn brings us discipline. Now Venus here, the gate of the behavior of the self, we know the first lines are always modest. Okay, the innate sense to know and accept one's place is, is unconscious value system. So knowing one's place and how to act despite circumstances is the exaltation. On the detriment side, oversensitivity to external conditioning of behavior. Gate 10 is about knowing one's behavior, behavioralistic place with the first line there. So that would be his unconscious values and relating that would contribute to this definition to that higher self and make uh, that person more attractive you know this is what you find attractive so he would find attractive 34s 57s 20s quite literally depending on whether or not he responds to them right if they're aligned for him and that would be his values and relating now jupiter here in the 41, we're looking at that law and protection being something that needs to be obeyed. This is the gate of contraction, decrease, the limitation of resources, which maximizes the development of potential. In the sixth line, we know it's far reaching, the line value being contagion. So this is about ultimately looking for progress in the life, right? Because it's looking all the way down the stream, stream of feeling, 
and it reaches the end to progress. So he's learning about the law that maximization of potential not only ends in decrease, but inevitably such transcendence benefits others. So on one side, he would recognize the fuel for recognition through feelings. And on the other side, he would feel the fuel for secret or repressed feelings. So this is the drive to feel that is creating his personal law and protection. So that is the Jupiter meeting up the burnout on the other side. We know that that was a fourth line and a sixth line. Yeah, not necessarily something that is comfortable because we know that stream is very, very volatile, potentially. Okay, Saturn. Saturn, the discipline and the limitation, the body here, having this gate of crisis in conjunction with his conscious personality sun. The rule of cycles in which a decline is a natural but not enduring stage, the line of the underground. Now, exaltation shows immunity to crisis as both generator and survivor and self-betraying nervousness in times of crisis. So how I might say or language that to ask, you know, what's going on. Do you feel that you have a lot of problems in sharing your fear of, I know that is um, experiential inadequacy and that might be a little too much. Do you have, do you feel like you have problems with facing new experiences might be a simpler way of putting it. You know, is there something inside of you that feels really uncomfortable when you're facing a new experience? Because the fifth line here, survivor and immunity to crisis. I mean, this is about being able to rise to the occasion. Fifth lines do that. They have this potential to face the difficulties and bring forth new solutions. So a Saturn out of integrity a lot of pain, a lot of hiding, right? Being a, a shy or reserved or, you know, um, feeling a lot of heaviness. Remember, you can use the term heaviness with Saturn because Saturn has all this weight to it, this density. Remember, limitation, restrictiveness. It's literally uh, being able to exhale because the body side is different keynoting. So on the Saturn for the body, do you ever feel like you're having difficulty exhaling, you know, fully exhaling so that you can draw your next breath? Like you can't just can't exhale. Difficulty breathing. That might be another thing. We know that the solar plexus is about the lungs and the nervous system. So that might be a telltale sign, signpost. Okay. I hope that that was helpful. I know it has been for me. Uh, Mel says, maybe he was projected onto as a sex object, which was hard for him to deal with because he was too busy being nerdy. Oh, my goodness. That's funny, Mel. I don't know. I haven't heard a lot about Albert Einstein, except to say my husband repeats quite often how he was somebody that couldn't find his way home sometimes, but was absolutely brilliant, <laughs> you know, so very interesting. Personal compass and guidance, your Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn relationship.